Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Angela. In today's video, we are going to be making this super cute sweatshirt. I just saw this design listed. Creative App Clay sent out an email like this morning. <laughs> it said, yeah, new double stitch varsity font. And I was like, oh my God, let me look. Obsessed. This is so, so, so cute. You may have seen like the, the chinao, chinao, I don't know how to say it, letters. So like you don't have to just do this with cotton. You can do it with like... Some people use microfiber cloths, like uh, Lori Noonmaker did a video using microfiber cloths. Um, you could use like a, a towel to give that look. Um, and just try whichever one out and see which one you like. But for this, I used glitter heat transfer vinyl for the gold. And then for the black is just cotton fabric. I think oh, it is adorable. So if you want to learn how to make this, stay tuned. I do want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to my CF fans. Thank you guys so much for being loyal on the CF fans page. I've been trying to keep up with it, so I have changed the way I do things a little bit. So now for CF fans, if you join, you get one exclusive free embroidery design a month and you get early access to my YouTube videos. Um, you also get a discount on my Etsy success course. Um, and we're working on like finding the trends on Etsy and putting them up there. That's Keena's job that I'm giving to him. So if you wanna be part of our CF fans, go ahead and click the link in the description. But let's go ahead and make this super cute sweatshirt. All right, so here is the font I bought from uh, Creative Appliques. There's gonna be a link in the description that you can click on to buy it. Um, Collegiate Double Applique Designs Exact Stitch. So I already downloaded it and I'm now gonna put it in in Brilliance. If you have in Brilliance Essentials, you can use the BX fonts. Um, you would just drag them and drop them. And they are all installed. Um, but for the sake of this video, some people do not have the BX fonts. I can show you what that is real quick. So if I'm gonna do an A, I need to find it. What is it called? I forgot. CA usually, there it is. So seven inch, and that's what it looks like. And then you would just change the colors here. Um, but let's say you don't have in Brilliance. What you can do is click Merge Design. Then you would go to Downloads and I would just find it here. CA Collegiate Double Applique. Then you click on PES or whatever format you need. And um, seven inch and then you click on your letter. So like I said, it really doesn't matter. All right, so from here, my background is gonna be gold, um, so I'm just gonna make this stitch gold, which is 1670 for me because I use Madeira Poly Neon. And the next one, the next stitch, I'm going to make, I'm trying to think, I guess white, because it'll kind of blend in. It's just gonna be hard to cut. Um, you don't want to do black because it'll just, I mean, no, I could, no, I don't want to do black. Let's do white. I may regret this. It's so hard to pick the color. Um, 1801, my bad. Am I going to be able to see that? Well, we'll find out. If I regret it, I regret it. All right. So it's doing those two, then it will do the next color which is going to be black and for the outline in this one I'm gonna do I'll leave it as a dark gray and then this needs to be gold and this needs to be black so that's what it'll look like I'm just putting an A on the sweatshirt A for Angela don't laugh at my corny so all right now I'm gonna click file Stay save stitch file as, and I'm just gonna name it a, I need a USB, so that's why you don't see the USB option. Okay, so in order to find the center point on the sweatshirt, I'm gonna just fold it in half. And we are going to just press it. That way it gives us a crease line for the center of the sweatshirt. See, now we're gonna go ahead and take it to the table and hoop it. Okay, so to start, we're gonna get our eight by nine inch mighty hoop. 
then we are gonna put the stabilizer on it, the backing holder, All right, and now the sweatshirt. Here's the sweatshirt, and as you can see, the center line. And you want to let roll, just to let roll. These sweatshirts always have so much lint on them. All right, now we are going to put the Mighty Hoop inside. I did think that the center line was a little bit to the left, so <laughs> that's why I hooked it up like that. But it is even on both sides. Um, and now I'm just going to take the hoop off, and now we go to the machine. Okay, guys, so we're going to be using the Melco Bravo for this. So this is the Bravo software. So down here, these little rectangles, the skinny, skinny ones are the colors that the design should be. The top ones are the ones we're going to change so that they match the bottom. So the first one is gold. It's already gold. The next one is um, white. And three is supposed to be black. And then this is uh, step four. These are the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Step four is supposed to be dark gray. And step five is supposed to be gold. And the last step is supposed to be black. So but we also need to put in the applique stops so we don't need to stop obviously at step one but we need to stop between drag and drop between one and two two to three three to four and last stop would be between step four won't oh, fail step four and five all right and then we're just gonna go ahead and get started so it says stitch time is going to be 5 minutes and 58 seconds, pretty much 6 minutes. So let me go ahead and get this shirt on the machine. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Um, oh yeah, well I remember, uh, Melco is, they have an offer, I saw it on Instagram yesterday. Um, you get a free sublimation printer, Epson, I don't remember exactly which one. Free sublimation printer with purchase of the Bravo Pro package. So if anybody is interested, information is down below. You can call Todd and ask for, ask any questions. All right, so we have the bobbin. I put it back to white so it's black. All right, and we're pretty much just gonna start. I'm gonna do a trace. All right, looks good to me. All right, and we're just gonna start. So we're gonna need some black fabric obviously for this project. So um, I'm thinking why not flip this around? So I mean the design is all seven inches, so I'm just gonna cut. And I'm also gonna put heat and bond on this um, because it makes the fabric more uh it makes it thicker um, and it doesn't fray as much. So that is I'm gonna use heat and bond. Nobody wants a wrinkly design. All right, so I'm gonna put heat and bond on this one. And then we have the gold glitter HTV. 
and same thing with this one about the same size i guess a tiny bit bigger and any excess or extra i just can use it for an applique for some other project that i have so it's not a big deal to cut too big rather be too big or too small so i'm gonna go put the heat and bond light on this and we'll start embroidering all right so here's the heat and bond light and i'm gonna go ahead and peel this off and when you put this on the sweatshirt you put it shiny side down so just like that and same thing with this heat transfer vinyl you just peel it from the clear plastic sheet you do not embroider with the clear plastic sheet all right there we go i'm just gonna hold it and push start Now we are going to cut it. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and cut this out carefully. It's up to you whether you want to get rid of the centerpiece. Um, personal preference, and my preference is yes. I actually think I like this, <laughs> just like this, but I'm still gonna make the whole thing. All right, so I have this little iron, and I'm just going to heat the heat transfer vinyl. What this will help with is wrinkles. Um, heating it will help with that. And I will of course heat it at the end when I am totally done. Everything's gonna get heated one last time. All right, so next what it's gonna do is it's gonna stitch the outline for where we're gonna place the black fabric called the placement stitch. on top and what I like to do when I have holes and by holes I mean where the a hole is going to be <laughs> a hole. is I'm gonna cut like a line in this fabric that way I don't have to try to dig through and cut it afterwards sorry I told you they're back garage All right. let me cut a piece of the a hole So a piece, a piece is cut, and I'm gonna make sure again that it lines up. The hole is right here. Let's make sure that it is within this area. So it would suck to make it too far out. I 
children are gonna bust down this door any second. <laughs> so try to hurry up. All right, push start. All right, just like I told y'all, them kids busted down the door. I would probably be cutting straighter than this, but trying to record from the top angle, my arm placement is super awkward. So just cut as clean as you can. It's really not the end of the world. Nothing has to be perfect, it really doesn't. And this does have a zigzag finish. They, uh, there's also a satin finish version, but I like the zigzag for varsity. I think it just looks cool. All right, and like I mentioned, here's a little holy holy thingy in the A. And you just easily cut. All right, and now we'll put it on the machine. All right, back on the machine. Here's a up close look. I am obsessed with this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I do agree with myself <laughs> that I should have did this a different color. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see like the placement stitch for the black. But it kind of looks like it's glitter too, just because there's glitter. So super cute. All right, I'm gonna go put it on. Well, actually, ha, ha psych, I gotta cut the stabilizer first. So this is cut away stabilizer. And let me get it cut. like and I'm gonna go heat it on the heat press real quick to seal it all together oh my goodness look at this the camera's so far away I'm like talking super loud hopefully you can hear me but I think it turned out adorable let me stand on the chair real quick look at that So yeah, I saw this design come up today and I wanted to make it, so. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and turn on your bell notifications. Please double check that because like 88% of those who say they did, it's, it's not working for some reason. So just try it again. Um, that way you don't miss my videos. Try to be more consistent, so yes. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.